first um, four or five months, we didn't have it. We used a whiteboard. Um, but as sales and marketing guys, our business grew really fast. And we, we realized very early on that we needed software. And we had other friends in the business that were using Moraware. And so we did a demo of it. We're like, awesome. And we signed up. It was the only reason we were allowed to go paperless. And I think that's, that, is the, that is the unicorn, right? That's, that is what everybody strives to do. But they just don't know how to do it. And so we started with in the field, right? It, once, you, you, once you commit to everybody putting notes in the system, everybody adding, uploading all the drawings, right? You put it all more where, then you can go to your field guys, measure guys and installers and just give them an iPad and just go, just go to the job in more where, right? And then you can go pull up the CAD drawing. You can go look at the purchase order. Whatever you need is in there, right? So that was a huge win. I mean, I, we have 10 uh, field measures and 20 install crews. Just think of the time, the, the human capital and the paper costs and the printing costs just to print all the packets out. Routing it, it was nuts. So that was it. And we did that about eight years ago. And then once we did that, right, I'm walking around the office and I'd hear somebody, you know, hey, do you guys have that folder? Hey, where's that job folder? People are like, I don't know. I'm like, hey, I don't know how we lose job folders. They're probably somewhere with all the missing socks, right? Somewhere in this universe. And I said, wait a minute, guys, why do we have job folders? If everything we're doing is uploading into Moraware for our field guys, why do we even have job folders? And it was the old, oh, I don't know, because that's the way we've always done it, which irks me, right? I don't so I said, no more job folders. And now what forced you is, you know, some people still would write notes, no more notes in the job folder, put everything in Moraware. So within six months of going paperless in the field, we went paperless in the office. Okay. And it was magical. It was amazing. And then for the next four or five years, we kept printing documents, right? The more were job spec sheet, uh, a picture of the CAD drawing, maybe some plumbing specs, putting all together, stapling it. It'd get wet. We'd put it into a, maybe put it on a clipboard, maybe put it in an envelope. And then the problem is it gets out to the floor, it gets cut, and then all those pieces go into different directions. But you only made one set of prints. So now at the end of the day, the guy's doing his quality control. You'd walk over and say, hey, what job is this? He's like, He's polishing. He's like, oh, I don't know. Let me go. And they stop what he's doing, trying to go find the paperwork. Incredibly inefficient. And if you don't have the paperwork, if you don't have the blueprints, you don't have the roadmap in front of you, how could you know if what you're doing is right? You don't, which is why quality control, remakes and reworks are the biggest problem that fabricators have. And I will tell you that reworks and, re reworks and remakes uh, are the direct enemy of profitability. Right, because every time you have a remake, you need more material, you need more costs, you need more labor. Right, and then you have opportunity costs, and then customers want compensation. It is detrimental to a fabricator's business to have reworks and remakes. You can't be perfect, but the average fabricator has ten percent of their businesses reworks and remakes. We're at like one and a half percent, but we work hard at it. So we're sitting here going, okay, we're paperless everywhere, we're printing paperwork, and our quality control isn't where it needs to be. So we started coming up with this label process. And then what we realized as we started building it, how amazing the software was. And then we realized, you know what? Every other fabricator needs this as well. And so we started selling it out to the public. And it has been an absolute home run for us. And it directly integrates with Moraware. So if you're a Moraware user, you can go in um, and type in the, the unique Moraware job ID number that's found up in the URL. It automatically pulls that data. And you can have up to 10 different fields on the label. It automatically maps to Moraware, right? Automatically pulls it onto the label. Um, we have a snipping feature that creates, you know, you have your drawing and you can put a piece for each one. It is absolutely amazing. And now we're building a tracking app that you'll be able to actually scan the barcode of every piece in your shop, depending on where it's at. It'll turn on or off or change statuses and activities in Moraware. So if you have an activity that says CNC and then you scan the pieces before you go on the CNC, it'll scan it to in progress. And then when your CNC program's done, you can scan again and it'll say complete. And now you can track duration in Moraware or on our app. And then you can also scan it. So now when it goes on to the truck, you'll be able to scan each one of the seven pieces and it'll say, hey, congratulations, Rebecca. You have all seven pieces. You know, you can leave. Or, hey, Rebecca, you only have six out of the seven pieces. You're missing piece number five. It pulls up a picture. Last time we saw it was on CNC number three. Go get it. And then when you get to the customer's home, you scan all the pieces once they've approved it. You have the customer sign off right on our app, right? And then change that install activity from uh, in process to completed. I mean, so 
we're really trying to change the way fabricators run their business. Most companies don't track their remakes and reworks. And so Speed Label helps you do that. So for example, if you have a piece that's on your CNC and it breaks, most shops have no idea that it happens. That the guy goes, grabs another run, and they never really triage what happens. So now if the piece breaks, you scan it, and in the app, it'll tell you, what do you want to do? I want to report an issue. Piece broke on the CNC. The guy who's logged in, so now you know who's doing it. It's time staffed, right? It gets uploaded back into Morrowware as an issue. And now you can run reports and start tracking. That's what we do. So we put everything in Morrowware. We call it a green sheet because green is the color of money. And every time we have a remake or a rework, it's costing us money, the company money, right? Because we all participate in wins as the company does better. So every department has their own, you know, incentive program to do their job better, right? So if the company wins, they win too. If you're using Moraware, the integration um, is very elegant because all the information is already in Moraware, right? So, you know, you've entered all the information to your specification sheet, right? Edge profile, material thickness, color, sync type, all the, whatever you installation date, whatever you want. Once we map it once for you, actually the user can go in and map it themselves because you can set a template. It pulls automatically onto the speed level. So there actually is no double entry. So there's none of that. It takes about 15 seconds to capture the image for each label and print them out. That's it. So we have these face labels. And then we also have these little ones that are edge labels, right? That once the top is, because once you're completed, most people put it up either in an A-frame or a pin rack, and then you can't see the face label. So now you get to see these. You also have the ability to put little symbols on here. Like if you're going to go and bring a sink, you can put the little sink symbol. So now when the installers are loading, it's like, oh, I got to bring the sink. Oh, I got to bring the supports. There's a symbol for a, a, a telephone. Oh, I got to call the customer, right? There's a symbol of a guy holding a heavy box. Oh, I need an extra guy. So it's just all about how do we continue, and especially knowing that you're going paperless, how do you continue to help the fabricator get more efficient? Every time you go out to a job site and, and fabricator forgets a splash, right? Or they forget a piece, they got to go back. And sometimes we're driving two, two and a half hours. That You lose money on that job if you have to do that. And now the customer's upset because unless you can send somebody out to go get it now, now you got to go back. Now they have to get inconvenienced again. Now they have to take off another day of work. Now they're not going to write you a nice review. Now they want compensation. There's a huge opportunity cost, huge problems just by forgetting something small.